Good morning students. Hope you all are fine. Are you ready for today's class? Then we can start. Okay. Uh, in the previous class, we learned to solve word problems. See, today we are going to learn some new words. The first one is estimation. Did you heard this word before? No. Okay. Estimation that is estimate a quantity. When uh, your teacher asked to find the total number of students in your school. How you find that number? The total amount that is total quantity. Total number of students in your school. Yes. Find the number of students in each division and yes, add the numbers to get the total amount. Is it? That is total quantity. So, from a given data, we can find the sum. That is the total. Is it clear? And the calculation is yes, accurate. It will be Accurate, is it? But when uh, you ask or when your teacher asked you to, uh, how many members are there in your uh, house farming? Or how many members or how many members participated in your uh, brother's marriage function or uh, some other functions which held in your family? At that time, we use this word that is approximately that is we can say an approximate 250 people participated whether it may be increased or decreased by some amounts but we can say approximately 250 people see but in the case of number of students in school we can say the exact amount is it did you get the difference between exact and approximately? Then, the next word, rounding off. When we use the approximate amount, we get the number by rounding off. For example, you have two number lines. One is from 0 to 10 numbers and one is from 40 to 50 numbers. Is it clear? And the first number line I place the flag in the 10th position. And in the second number line I place the flag in the 40th position. Okay. One is from 4th position. One is from 7th position. Who can more easily take this flag? Yes. The uh, one who stand in the seventh position can easily take this flag. That is, this distance is more close than this. Is it clear? And here I placed flag in the 42nd position and I asked one from 44 and one from 48 to take this flag. Who can easily take this? Yes, the people or the student or the one who uh, standing in the 44th position. And this distance is not so closer than this. Is it clear? From these two figures, we can uh, sum up or we can conclude the rounding of loss. That is, the numbers from 1 to 4, okay, 1 to 4, more close to the value 0, see, and numbers from 6 to 9, more close to the value 10, see, that is, when a number given and ask us to round off the value or estimate the approximate we should round off to the nearest tens. Okay. Nearest tens. In this case, it is one digit numbers and we should 
round off to the nearest tens or nearest zero. That is here 1 to 4 numbers are round off to zero. 6 to 9 numbers are round off to 10. And the number 5 it is a middle term. Z. That is it is equal distance from 0 and 10. Generally 5 is rounding off to 10. In this case, the numbers from 41 to 44, rounding off to, yes, nearest to 10, that is 40. And 46 to 49, rounding off to, yes, 50. 45 is the middle term. And generally, the middle term, rounding off to the nearest to 10, coming after the number. Okay, not coming before the number, coming after the number. Is it simple? Here comes the application of rounding off. We learned that a number round off to nearest tens. That is in the case of two digit numbers, we round off to nearest tens. Then in the case of three digit numbers, we can round off to nearest tens. Yes, hundreds. Is it clear? Here, 730 more close to 700 or 800. Yes, 700. So, we can approximate the 730 to 700. Here, then this number that is 998. It is more close to, yes, 1000. The answer can be simply written as 1700. Is it clear? Here 796. It is so more close to? Yes, 800. Minus. It is close to? Yes, 300. So we can simply write the answer. 500. Is it clear? Here, yeah. 4 lakh 89,348. These three terms. That is 348. It is so more close to? Yes, 300. Okay. So, we can write it as 4 lakh 89,300. Minus. Here, when we take these three terms, it close to, yes, 48,400. Is it clear? The answer is 40,900. Is it clear? We can use another way. That is, here, we round off the numbers to nearest hundreds. If we consider nearest thousand, okay, nearest thousand, that is, we can round off to for that 89,000. Is it clear? That is, 89,348 more close to 9,000. Is it clear? So, we can take it as for man 89,000 minus here it can be taken as 48,000 that is 8,365 more close to 8,000 than 9,000. See? Then here 48,000. When we subtract these numbers, we get 441,000. Look at these two numbers. Is it the approximation of this value? Is it? That is 440,900. This is 900 more close to 1000. So 441,000. See, we know. 578 into 161. Simple. 
that is 578 can be approximate into yes 600 into 161 can be yes 200 and answer is 6 into 2 12 4 zeros Z the last one here it can be simply wound up to yes 1300 and this can be round off to yes 600 that's equal to 6 into 13 that is 78 then 4 zeros that is 780,000 is it clear we can round off a big digit to nearest tens or hundreds or thousands according to the number or the digit given. So, study well. We will see in the next class. Thank you.